Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tactical Periodization Moments. Well, Tim, this one you didn't know. It has a name. Uh, today uh, with Tim Stegman. Is it how it's said? It's correct. It's perfect. Oh, thank you. I, ha I always have the, this big uh, problem saying the names of our guests. Some, some more than others, but Uh, in Portuguese, it's it's possible that all of us say Stegman instead of instead of Stegman, but that's okay. So this is um, this is an interview that will last for 30 minutes. We will talk about some subjects, uh, some of a lot of interest, some of them not really, but we'll see as it goes. We'll go we'll go for uh, one subject to another and see how it goes. Well, Tim Stegman is a young coach and promising one. He's from Hamburg, Germany. And maybe uh, we'll talk about uh, a little bit about yourself and your path as a coach. Um, actually, uh, currently he's, he's studying with us. Uh, he's our student from the first edition of the Professional Master. He's about to finish. Uh, maybe he can give us some feedback on that, but let's start from the beginning and welcome, Tim. Thank you for uh, accepting this invitation. It's always an honor to have you with us and we hope everyone is safe there. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying every moment with you, especially. And yeah, thank you very much. Um, You, my, should we start with, with the background or with the start of tactical periodization in it? Yes, maybe we can start. Uh, maybe our listeners are uh, curious uh, on, 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 on knowing a little bit of who is speaking. Okay, um, so I'm uh, 32 years old and uh, yeah, I have started a career like this. Uh, I, I um I studied cultural science and political science because uh, I I wanted to become a journalist, a football journalist, because uh, I was always a big football fan. But uh, yeah, then during during the studies, I did my coaching licenses, and it was always a dream for me uh, because I never made it as a professional player to to work at least uh, in football as a coach. And then there arises the opportunity to work uh, in the Youth Academy of uh, VfL Wolfsburg or VfL Wolfsburg. And uh, there I stayed six years in several roles. And uh, after that, I got the opportunity to become assistant coach in Würzburg for the Würzburger Kickers. They, are, they played during that time and actually also in the moment again in the third division in Germany. So uh, I've been... Uh, assistant coach for one and a half year in in, Wurz, in Würzburg. The third time I want to have a more continuous job uh, with with a lot of a bit more planning ahead. So I decided to go to to the football association in, in Hamburg, and now we're doing coaching education and we have selected teams which uh, or who we are preparing for. The tournaments of the or scouting tournaments uh, of the youth sorry tim we lost you there for 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 a moment okay what what, what was the last thing you you yes. heard You you were talking about the the youth teams and uh, the com their competitions. Okay, so we uh, we are preparing the um, so we are doing coach education and we uh, uh, players from Hamburg. We are preparing for. <laughs> the uh, tournaments of German Football Association. We lost you again. Okay. So I, I'm just changing the position and I hope everything will, will work now. No problem. Okay. So uh, 
in the moment for, for in Hamburg. I'm working as a coach educator and uh, as well as a coach because we have uh, like once a week or sometimes uh, less uh, players who we are preparing for the scouting tournaments of the German Federation. Okay, now we got you. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. We have to cut this out. Yes, we'll <laughs> cut this part. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I'll try. <laughs> or I'll just leave it. That's okay. Well, uh, maybe you can can start with this one. How, how did tactical periodization come in into your life? Well, at least your life as a, <coughs> as a football coach. When did you first get in touch with it? Where did you hear about it? Well, I, I didn't remind exactly uh, the, the moment because obviously uh, with the success of Jose Mourinho, uh, after a time, tactical periodization was in, in everybody's mouth and it was really, yeah, it was like common to talk about it, even if just oh, probably almost nobody really know something about it or knew something about it during that time and then there were of course published a lot of books and you, you read something or read articles and uh, from from the perspective now I can say okay it's, they, they are talking about a kind of tactical periodization but probably not in the deepness and in the richness and in the details which are correct and which are important um, like and, and I think this is was missing during that time. So it was just, okay, there's this kind of thing, but I didn't understand it for sure. And it was like on, on the surface, it's not really. As I was a player, I was always curious to to develop myself, to, to read something, to, to become better as, as a coach. And uh, yeah, this is maybe also some some kind of defect uh, I, I have to, that I always want to. We lost you again, Tim. Testing myself and questioning myself and um, so then uh, the situation of the pandemic and the lockdown arrives and uh, everybody was at home and uh, yeah then there was a possibility to to attend a lot of football webinars and as uh, this there uh, was also the uh, webinar of Miguel Lopsch uh, I think maybe more or less in, in May there was I think and uh, was like yeah two hours uh, which was which were really really impressive and then I heard the first time about the master and yeah as, as I asked also myself during the the lockdown okay uh, now there's a moment where you probably will have more time than than ever in in your life uh, and maybe after the situation there will be the question how you used your time successful and uh, I wanted to after, afterwards I, I want to give the response well I, I used the time to to develop myself uh, and not just wasting time sitting at home and, and complaining about the situation so uh, yeah there was the opportunity uh, to to be part of of this master and uh, I thought about it and then I took the opportunity and uh, also because I was I was curious but also because I noticed that uh, this kind of knowledge uh, is not available in any any books uh, especially not in Germany but uh, also it's it's really hard to find English good English books about it because I think there are only two certified ones uh, in the moment on the market Yes, you, you are absolutely correct. One third to come uh, soon, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but, but yes, you are correct. Well, um, you, you were talking about Jose Mourinho, and 
um, he started his uh, career with more success. He was successful before, of course, but with more success, maybe an international success or maybe um, uh, Europe started or the world started noticing him around 20 years ago, maybe. Yeah. And 20 years ago, you were 12 years old. Yeah, I, well, I remember the uh, Champions League final, I think, because it was in Germany, it was in Gelsenkirchen. Yeah. Uh, this was something special and it was also special because it was against Monaco so it was uh, kind of an underdog final and uh, I also of course remember the, the match from Porto against Manchester United because it was a surprise and was this run and his, uh, his coat of course which is famous and um, yeah but I think I think in the in the public opinion or uh, how how we observe or perceive the things, it's more about uh, the personality of Mourinho more than the methodology which is which is behind uh, that. And I think um, because we, I think there's a tendency to to observe the things or to perceive the things a lot of through the media, but the media isn't is interested to to be on point, to be in detail, because it could be. Too much for for the consumer, and uh, this. So I, I think yeah, uh, with Mourinho and of, of course with the success started everything, but uh, it it never um, explained tactical prioritization. It's just uh, it, it was the personality and the success, and of course maybe uh, tactical prioritization was part of 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 the success and part of the of the cause of the success but um i think in in the perception of of the public and probably also of myself it was not especially tactical periodization at first 20 years ago 20 yeah, years yes. ago yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah and um uh, speaking of that it's always a matter of choice well um he he chose this methodology. Uh, he knew other ones, of course. He chose this one, but anyone is winning with what, uh, with whichever methodology they choose. You know, uh, there, there's not one good one or one best one. Uh, it's a it's a matter of choice. If you identify yourself with one that you've studied, well, you have first to study at least two to have a choice. Otherwise, you won't have a choice. But if you if you study deeply at least two of them, you can have a choice. And if you identify yourself more with tactical precision, you have to stick to it. Uh, there's no way to mix them or to apply a bit of one and a bit of another and a bit of another. So it it becomes a a, a confusion. But uh, I'm guessing you're right. It's not one it's not one 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 detail that makes someone achieve that that public status or that uh, coaching success, but several things, of course. Also, the personality goes a long way. Oh, of course, of course. Well, how do you, how do you see um, the, the the new generations? Well, I'm guessing that they are they are. Uh, young coaches emerging in Germany, uh, some of them already living for other, other championships. But how, how do you see the, the football context in Germany concerning that? Well, I think uh, for sure we, we are uh, a country who have given a lot of opportun opportunities to young coaches. And I think this is not very common in Europe uh, or wasn't that common during that time. Now uh, also other countries are uh, evolving in that case. So for, for Germany, it was kind of a, of una forma de moda, uh, to put it like this, it's like a fashion to, uh, or it has been a fashion to put in a new coach or maybe the under 19 coach to give him an opportunity especially during crisis moments and of course um, success of, of coaches like Tuchel or like Nagelsmann uh, and maybe uh, now the new Leipzig coach uh, Tedesco so coaches who are not 
uh, who were not former successful players, um, they 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 walked the way so or the path. So for everybody else, it was a bit uh, more easy. I think another reason is that um, during our evolution of the youth academies, we have a lot of prof uh, professionalism. Sorry, um, uh, relating young coaches or youth coaches so uh, under 19 coach under 17 coach under 16 coach uh, down to sometimes under 14 under 12 sometimes the coaches are full-time in that youth academy so they are already working uh, as a football coaches but in a in a context which al allows them to uh, to focus on football to focus on development uh, but of course they're, they're like everybody uh, or everywhere else, this kind of tendencies uh, results more than development, of course, uh, because if uh, I'm winning more, I uh, or the worst of the world thinks I'm, I'm a better coach. But however, uh, all of this is, is part of uh, the development of, um, of young football coaches. And uh, in the moment we have in, at least in Germany, the tendency to put it the other way around because there's this, this kind of discussion about uh, two scientific uh, coaches who never played football, who never felt the turf, um, who, who are this kind of laptop coaches. Uh, as, as there are a lot of former players who are criticizing that kind of thing. And there's always uh, this kind of discussion in especially oh, in, in Germany, that football shouldn't be too complicated and should be uh, a sport understandable uh, for, for everybody. And I think this is one of uh, our main problems that, uh, yeah, I, I always put it like this. If you, if you are starting to learn math uh, during school, you know probably in math uh, it's one and one is two. If you're studying tactical periodization, one and one isn't two, could be zero or could be three. Uh, but especially also if you if we stay in the example of math mathematics, uh, if you are studying mathematics in the university, it's not that easy anymore. The things become more complex. And I think uh, the level, how we observe football, how we perceive football from a coach's point of view, or maybe also from a scientific po uh, point of view, has to or, or had uh, had increased the level of complexity, and I think sometimes uh, the art of the coach is not to lose the sense of play and the, the essence of, of football, which is a game and not working. And I don't know; it's it's still a game, and uh, players because they are players, they are not workers they have to play and especially as we all love to play or usually for example now at, at night if we say with our families okay let's let's play cards we say let's play cards because we want to play cards we don't say uh, let's work cards uh, and it's something exhausting for us so <laughs> we, we won't do that and um, I think it's it's important that uh, we as a coaches never lose this, this sense of play and probably this kind of uh, over professionalism and uh, this kind of yeah uh, scientific approach uh, is or influences our coaches in that way that it's it's hard for them not to lose this, this sense uh, yeah sensibility to play Yes, well, uh, I think you made a good analogy there with uh, the, the, the card playing, the game with, uh, with playing cards. Um, there's this myth uh, around, uh, I, I'm not sure if there's still this myth, but there was a big myth around tactical position, which was, which was, well, I know what tactical position is. They just play with the ball. Instead of running, they just train with, with the ball on their feet. And it's really not that at all. Uh, it's it's not playing with the ball. It's playing with the game. 
Yeah, Please. yeah, yeah, and this is also I experienced it on my own, and this is why I'm really, really thankful for the opportunity to to study tactical periodization because it was like uh, I I can see in my own biography several moments where I say, okay, now everything makes sense and it, ex it explains everything also from my experience because in in Würzburg in the beginning we weren't that successful. And um, yeah, I think in also in, I don't know if it's everywhere in Germany, but uh, I think we have this tendency to, to stay uh, on the surface a lot of times. So uh, if people talk about Mourinho, they say, yeah, they, they, they never did this kind of uh, running or gym or whatever. They just uh, were playing and they were talking about Guardiola and because why is Barca so good? So they are just playing, okay. So we all play, but we all play uh, without any intention, without uh, any any organization, which gives gives the things a, a form like morphos. The morpho cycle does. That's why it's morpho. Um, and uh, I I think it's this kind of ice. Uh, pretending I know something because I have heard about it, but I never experienced it. I don't know for sure. I didn't talk with the uh, people really, really in detail. And uh, just to handle these kind of things because of, of that uh, surface uh, or yeah, knowledge, it's, I think it's, it's problematic. And um, yeah, and, and as you said, it's not like this. <laughs> it's absolutely not like this, but uh, for me, it was really special because I experienced it on my own. And after a time, if you're reflecting and if you get new new knowledge or new influences, uh, yeah, everything makes makes sense. Yes. Um, with you working as a coach, uh, ed educator uh, in, in training, right? Uh, um, training coaches. Uh, and I'm I'm only guessing, but I'm almost sure, like 99% sure, that this is your favorite way of of coaching, or even uh, teaching, or trying to help your your coaches or the coaches that are under your wing. Um, but in general, in Germany, how do you think that education education is uh, football education? I mean, but it's always related to the educational system in general, but. Okay, talking about the football education, how how do you characterize it? N not not with 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 a lot of time, you know. We have around twelve minutes to 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 go still. Yeah, but uh, okay. Um, well, I I think now things are changing because uh, the UEFA makes uh, all over Europe the same the, the same conditions, or will put the same conditions. Uh, but I think the level of uh, coach education in between Germany is, is really different and it's uh, um, the focus the, they, they set is, is different and um, yeah, now, now a lot of things are changing and the future should be that the players in the, in the middle of the process and uh, the coach is, uh, will or should, should help the players. But if I compare to to the yeah to the past when when I did my UEFA A license I did it really young and this kind of pathway uh, will in, in the future probably will never take place again uh, because now it's really hard for for young coaches to to enter the next step and uh, I don't know if this would be an advantage. Well, we'll, we'll we are soon finding out so. In your particular case, um, how do the coaches that you are that you work with react to your methodology? Well, um, of course, for for the young coaches, it's always a bit more easy to adapt because uh, they are not uh, influenced by so many other things. Uh, for the older coaches, it's always a bit more difficult because uh, if you more or less tell them that everybody, not everything they did, but 
that the things they they did uh, or there are other possibilities better possibilities uh, how they can deal with things it's like crashing their reality and this is always hard to accept for everybody and um yeah so but uh, then it's just about the the time and explaining and uh, of course uh, you always have to focus what is the most important thing how far or how deep you can go also into a, a discussion because um, we don't have to talk about uh, a little fragmented uh, detail because the most important thing is to, to get the, the whole picture or to at least a sketch so after a week or two weeks or whatever they, they return to, to their clubs and uh, our main objective is that they are starting to change and that they are starting to to be critical and to think on their own and to develop themselves by by this and this is i think one of the best capacities we we can encourage and develop and this is our main objective and uh, yeah the, the rest will come after time yes it's a good start well if I were to come to Germany and become a coach, what were your main advices that you could give me? First of all, in German. Yes. <laughs> because I, I think... Um, that one we, I already know. Yeah, I think we are a country where not a lot of foreign coaches or non-German speaking coaches are working. So I think uh, we as... I don't know if we as a society, but as football society, uh, we are really traditional. Uh, it's it's hard to implement changes, and uh, yeah, I think especially even Guardiola had several problems when they realized okay he will leave. Uh, then the media was really crushing him, and um, if if a guy who's uh, yeah successful like him uh, even get problems, I think because he is of. Well, because he wasn't that successful from the point of view of the media. He was <laughs> unbelievably successful, but it's another topic. And I think it's also hard for, for everybody who's not uh, German, German speaking. And then I think uh, there are a lot of clubs who like to work they, like they used to work and to implement new things. It's, it's never easy, probably no, nowhere in the world, but... Um, you have to consider or take in consideration that you have players who are embossed like like this so they are used to uh, that the coach is doing certain things and if the coach changes uh, sometimes they are confused and then you have to to help them and then you need to be lucky uh, to to have results but first of all you need you need to have the opportunity and I think it's it's hard to get the opportunity because um, yeah, and because of this kind of professionalism, I I talked about everybody really wants to work in football, and unfortunately, from my perspective, uh, also people really want to work in football who are not loving the game, but they just want to work in in football because it's common. If they would live in in the United States, they probably will work in baseball or American football, but they don't have this, this sense for football. And uh, I think this is sometimes a bit disappointing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm still stuck in the part to learn German. <laughs> I will have, I will have with <laughs> Okay, okay, Tim, we are coming to an end. Uh, thank you so far. Well, um, tell us a, a little bit uh, more about um, your, your, your path in this professional master, um, how you saw it at first, if you had any expectations and how you see it now, and what changes have you seen in your perspective uh, not that much or so <coughs> many and um, what what could you tell uh, everyone listening that are still having doubts on attending it well, the, the most complex question to the end 
Um, perfect. Perfect. Well, um, which kind of expectations uh, did I did I have? Well, I, I had the expectation that I understand tactical periodization, uh, that I am able to work with it, uh, and because I I know it's a, yeah it's a world success model, um, and it has won several times the Champions League, which is always a good objective also for me, and uh, but <laughs> well in the future maybe one day. So, um, and the, the start was really hard because, um, you know, I'm from Germany and we have, uh, if we say this is a timetable of 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes. And uh, I remember really good this is the start. And um, it was like one week with, uh, I think, uh, like four, four hours, so two times two hours in the uh, morning. and more or less the same in the evening i don't know remember exactly but oh, you're the talking, schedule you're talking about the presidential part right no 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 not not the, 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 when, when the, everything starts we had seven week uh, seven days so one week just online uh on online webinars oh we oh, right 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 in, yes. in, in, in the first part and uh this was really crazy because uh, I, I i became father just uh, a few weeks ago during that time and uh, it was it was hard to organize everything and then so you have to imagine if professor friday is starting talking then nobody will stop him and uh, because he has a lot of things to say and it's really complex and uh, but this will crash every every timetable and it's really hard to to be in front of the computer more than two hours or something um so the the star was really really hard um but what was my uh my rescue or my uh, my 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 safety uh, that everything was recorded so i had the possibility to watch it afterwards afterwards time by time so it was uh, for me really really helpful also to review some some things to understand it more and then we have, uh, I think it's, it's typical for, for everybody of us um, that you have the expectation that you attend uh, one, two, three days and okay, but now, now I, I have to understand it because I'm already three days in and I have to understand it immediately because uh, there's this kind of, um, I, I think, is, is it from, from negotiations or something so if you don't can explain a, a thing in 10 seconds or in in 30 seconds if you go the lift up with a, a chairman of a, of a company then you will lose and uh, or then then it's not the right thing and tactical prioritization is not about this and it's not like this so if you have the expectation to understand everything immediately you you will fail for sure but you have you have to relax yourself and you have to take your time because uh, after after a time it will arise to you and this time is depends depending on on your experience and I think also is depending on yeah how how your development is and this kind of development this is something you can't force you can just uh, think about it you can read a lot of things you can watch a lot of things you can uh, reflect a lot uh, which is um, really really important and then you will find so many details and so many things and so many parts of of your life because for for me this this decision to to make uh, this master had i think in, in my approach as a football coach, the biggest biggest influence ever, because now I'm I don't know I, I'm reading a book uh, about something outside of sport and I can relate it with tactical periodization and biases to football. I'm seeing my my son growing and I'm 
noticing things and I'm, I'm trying to, to implement things I learned in this master. So it's not, for me, it's not only about football. For me, it's, I don't know if it's too, too, too high or too much to say, but for me, it was a life-changing experience. And, uh, and I think it's, it's really important <laughs> that you relax and that you have to, of course, you have to do something. It's not like really like a thing and I'm just consuming something. Uh, but if you, if you want to understand it, you can understand it, but you, it's not able to force yourself to, to understand it. Because uh, for, for me, it was after the first reflection, uh, I, I took a big or a small step then uh, with the second reflection and this, especially the presential part of the master, which, which was amazing. This was uh, absolutely amazing. Um, I, it, it was it was more uh, okay. This is this is uh, how and this is why and you you get a bit of experience and. Um, I think in the beginning, and I remember really good when we had this kind of interaction in, in December before the first uh, deadline of the, or, of the reflection, I said something like, well, uh, it's, it's just about uh, the, the game idea. It's, it's not that important. And I think uh, you and, and also George Reis was, was looking at me and like saying like, uh, well, it's the most important thing actually. And, but for me, it was like this because uh, when we first saw uh, examples of training exercises, everybody is searching, ah, this is tactical periodization or this is tactical periodization. And well, uh, everything and nothing it can be. Um, and it's not that easy. And uh, it's, it's more about, okay, you, if, if you have this kind of, uh, of an idea, you can put it like this and like this, and this is part of your, your own development. So yes, it's the most important thing, but in order to understand it, you have to understand yourself. And this is, this is a travel you, you have to go for. And uh, I, I was lucky to, to be and still, still to be on, on that trip. And uh, well, I, I will finish this master hopefully, but uh, I don't think that I will be ready then uh, because I think it's it's just that the travel has to continue and that there's are still a lot of things to learn more. Yes, it's a never ending story. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Tim, uh, we, we are uh, touching the 30 minutes, uh, 33 actually. I couldn't interrupt, I'm sorry. But we have to, we have to say goodbye to, uh, to everyone and to you. Uh, thank you everyone for listening. Thank you, Tim, for being present in such a clear uh, in interview. Thanks a lot. I hope to see you uh, sometime soon. And uh, hopefully in Germany, hopefully in Germany, because uh, you came here twice and we didn't go either once in, 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 in there, in your country, so hopefully in Germany, but we never know. So I'll introduce myself now at the end, if you don't mind. I'm Philippe Moraes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> good, good to see, know, good to know. See you soon. You can follow us on social media, easy. Uh, I'm sure it, this will be on, in, the, in the comments below. So see you next time and I hope you are really well and as well as your family, Tim. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Mm -hmm.